Hi guys, welcome to Linux YouTube channel. My name is Ramishra and I'm your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to configure AWS S3 pre-signed URL in AWS Cloud. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the live session, we have to understand few points, which is what is the importance of pre-signed URL and their use cases. So normally what happens when we create S3 bucket in AWS Cloud, it's by default allowed private access only. Unless, of course, you have a bucket policy and open it to the world, but it is not recommended by the AWS. But sometime, in some cases, what we ha what happened, uh, you need to share the files like data file, image, and videos that are in these private S3 bucket with your customer for their uses. Those customers don't have AWS permission to access it. And that's where these S3 pre-signed URL come in the picture. So in short, we can say pre-signed URL is a temporary URL which enables user to access S3 object without enabling publicly access to the S3 bucket. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to make a setup for this and we'll show you how does it work. So let's begin the lab session. Guys, this is my AWS web console and we have to follow few steps to make S3 pre-signed URL environment. Okay, so the first step is to make S3 bucket without allowed publicly access. So for this, I search S3 in AWS S3 bar. Okay, here it is. And uh, quickly make a S3 bucket. Remember, bucket name should be uh, unique. It could be anything. So, okay, I create one. So click on create and give the bucket name so i say linux google uh, aws region that is us east north virginia okay and uh, i'm not to uncheck this option i wanna just make it for private access so i'm not tick on block all public access i didn't want to make it publicly access for everyone and go with the default options and just simply click on the create button okay Okay, successfully created bucket on next Google. Fine, so first step is complete. And now move to the next step, which is make a Linux EC2 instances for S3 management. So quickly I make AWS EC2 instances with default condition. So I'm going to search again, this time for EC2. And here it is, click on the EC2, go to the dashboard. Okay, so this is the dashboard and currently uh, there is no running instance available in this machine, in this account. And I click on the launch instances. Okay. And quickly launch a new instance. So I go with Amazon Linux. Say select. And uh, go with T2 Micro. Okay, that's good for me. And go with the default VPC go with the default storage and assign a tag name a proper tag name so uh, i said linux server okay configure the security group go with the default new security review and launch and launch okay so currently i don't have any existing pair so i just make a new pair and pair name is test could be anything download the key pair and simply click on the launch instances so this is how we can just quickly install our Linux EC2 instances in our AWS cloud. It will take some time to be proper configured. So this is the name, this is the instance ID, instance type, availability zone, and current status is pending, and status check is initializing. So it will take some time. Okay, once it be configured, I'll connect it and go for the further process. Okay, so We have to wait for two or three minutes. This is public DNS IP address. We have IPv4 key name that is test. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to connect it. Click on connect. Copy the entire path from here and go to the key pair location. In my case, it is in download. So I open my download and open my git bash utility from here. Okay and that's cool make it large for you and right click and paste the entire path okay so it asked for the confirmation i say yes okay here i plug in so access with root privilege so i say sudo 
hyphen i okay let's verify the os release version so guys uh, this is amazon linux version 2 so i have completed on the step next step okay now move to the next step which is configure my s3 bucket from vc to console so for this i need a secret key and the access key so for this i go to my security credential on my web, web console portal with more time and and from there access my key tab so i click on the security credential open in a new tab okay and from here here we have to go on the access keys create a new access key and here it is so if i click on the show this is my access key id and secret access key id okay so uh, so uh, if you want to download the key you can go with that and you can download and uh, save in some secure location and do not share with any other person okay so i connect to my i have already connected my ec2 machine with my git patch utility okay so now this time i'm going to configure s3 bucket from this terminal via cli process so first i have to run the command aws configure so i go with aws configure once i press enter it asks the access key so i just copy the access key from here and simple paste okay then it talks access secret access key so again i copy from here and paste one more time now it asks default reason so currently i am using north virginia so you can check from there this is north virginia and reason is us east one so i say us east one okay and the output format i go with the default one okay so now i have uh, i have already signed the access key and secret key and uh, and uh, uh, assign the proper default reason so now first let's check the availability of s3 bucket so for this i run the command aws s3 ls simple command to list available s3 bucket look at that here it is my linux google s3 bucket available so here we have done this step successfully now move to the next and the final step which is upload any data file and assign free url for this object okay so what i'm going to do i make an index file from uh, this terminal and upload it into the s3 bucket okay so simple i make a file named index.html for the testing purpose and uh, i i type some matter i said uh, welcome to welcome to aws cloud okay so just save and quit from there okay now uh, now the time to move this file from this location to the s3 bucket but before upload the file into s3 bucket let's check the list content of s3 bucket so for this i run the command again aws s3 ls and this time i mentioned the bucket name so in my case this is linux google so okay it so it's currently it's blank now i'm going to upload my index.html to this s3 bucket so the command is aws s3 and for copy cp index.html and uh, no need to ls say s3 press enter oh sorry there's a silly mistake file name is index dot html okay now upload it successfully let's check one more time with ls command aws s3 ls command here it is it shows my index.html file so let's check this one more time via aws web console so see what happened if i go with my aws web console so i am going to close this one and go with s3 click on the s3 
so here it is my s3 bucket if i open index.html it shows the honor the aws reason last modification size type that is html and here it is object url so uh, let's see what happen if i try to open this file using this object url so i open it in a new tab see what happened okay i got the message access denied perfect this is perfect i can't access publicly now here comes a three pre sign url concept suppose if you want to share this url uh, to any other custom or any any other trusted client without allow publicly access to this s3 bucket then you have to create the pre sign url setup so what i'm going to do i assign pre sign url with certain time limit so that he can access my file within the given time once the given time period expire it again secure from publicly access and no one can access it okay so the command to create s3 assign url is very simple and the command is so i close this one and i i'm back to my terminal so the command is aws s3 and we have to type pre assign pre sign and uh, then we have to type expire expires in 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 my case i say go with 50 seconds okay so 50 second is sufficient for me for the demonstration purpose and give the object name that is index.html okay so once i press enter see what happened hmm. s3 and i just forget to remove this line okay and pre there is mistake spelling mistake okay now see what happened okay so this is secure url look like so just i copy this url and share with my trusted clients or i can directly open the browser and see whether we are able to retrieve the object or not without giving any credential or without making the object publicly okay so i just simply copy the entire url and try to open in or uh, i just copy the first and try to open in and then new tab see what happened okay here i can access my uh, index.html file so now see if everything is perfect you can see the content of the file with the within the given time period okay so let's see what happened once the time period expire okay so now i'm going to refresh the page and let's see what happened so this time i'm going to refresh it okay again i got the error uh, see again i got the error access denied and request has expired so if you want to again access this file again you have to sign assign the pre url to this object with a certain time limit okay so guys this is how we can uh, set the s3 pre sign url and it works in aws cloud and uh, finally this is the end of this topic also hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something else please leave your comment and subscribe my youtube channel for more updates and um, if you like this video do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update guys one more thing if you are interested in linux online classes for Red Hat linux and aws and many more please contact us through given links which is mentioned in the description thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye